I've got all the hash rate and power consumption numbers for the new RTX 4060. So let's sit down together and see if this thing is just an overpriced piece of trash or if it's the new budget king for mining and if it might be worth picking it up now while prices are still low in anticipation of mining becoming very profitable again in the potentially upcoming bull market. And of course, we're gonna compare it to all the other RTX 4000 series GPUs as well as the RTX 3070 which is usually considered the best mining GPU of Nvidia's previous generation. So let's get right into all of that after a quick word from our sponsor. HeroMiners.com is a long time trusted mining pool with support for over 17 different CPU and GPU mineable coins, including Caspa, Flux, Monero, Ironfish, Ergo, and Alephium, just to mention a few. And since the Ethereum merge, they've done everything they can to help you guys stay profitable, like doing multiple periods of 0% pool fees, regular giveaways and bonus events, greatly reduced parallel asset fees on Flux, 10 times faster ergo payouts than other pools, and just in general having really low and competitive pool fees for all of their supported coins. On top of this, they also have servers in 13 different locations around the globe to make sure you have a strong connection no matter where in the world you're mining from. Of course, they also have everything else you'd expect from such a high quality pool like nice stats and charts, ready-made bat files to help you connect your mining software to the pool, the option to choose between pool mining and solo mining, support for mining rig rentals and nice hash, the list goes on and on. So check them out at herominers.com or by clicking the link down in the video description. So this is a follow-up to my last video where I compared all of the RTX 4000 series GPUs for mining and at that time the 4060 wasn't out yet so I'm making this video now to sort of complete the testing. And in that previous video I go more into detail on how I rank the GPUs for mining but in short when I review GPUs for mining I look at two things. The first one is mining power efficiency which is how much mining performance aka hash rate the GPU gets per watt of electricity and the second thing I look at is value for money which I quantify by looking at hash rate per dollar spent when buying the card. And it's also important to look at these two factors for as many different coin mining algorithms as possible for each GPU since what coin might be the most profitable to mine currently is kind of changing almost daily at this point. There also might be a completely new coin popping up out of nowhere that turns out to be super profitable and if a GPU is good on most algorithms it's a pretty safe bet that it'll be a good performer on that new coins algorithm as well. So you want a GPU that is going to perform well no matter what you're mining with it. I also try to take real world scenarios into account in my scoring and ranking for these GPUs, including things like power consumption of the other components in the mining rig, as well as the fact that if you buy low performance GPUs, you're going to have to build more rigs, which is more expensive. And with those things accounted for, I've made a scoring system that gives every GPU a score between 1 and 100 in terms of real world power efficiency and value for money and I score those for each mining algorithm for each GPU. If you want to learn more about how that scoring system actually works you can check out my previous video, I'll link that down in the video description. So let's have a look at the results and I just want to quickly mention that if you're looking to buy some GPUs I've put some affiliate links for both the 4060 and some other GPUs that I recommend down in the video description. If you do make a purchase through those links the channel gets a small commission at no extra cost to you and you guys using those links is a big part of how I can even still afford to make free videos like this one so thank you it really does mean a lot to me. Now of course I've got my spreadsheet up here and unfortunately for the 4060 I was only able to get data on 13 of the 17 algorithms I reviewed the other 4000 series GPUs on. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link to this spreadsheet down in the video description and I'll add the results for those missing algorithms as soon as I can. But I'm sure comparing this GPU on 13 algorithms is more than enough to get a great overview of its general mining performance to see if it's a worthwhile GPU for mining or not. So you can see all of the hash rate and power consumption numbers here and the price I've gone for on this GPU is the MSRP which is roughly the price you should be able to get this GPU for right now. But let's have a look at the scores for this thing. So the price score is generally fine I'd say going between low 50s on some algorithms which 
isn't great but then going almost all the way up to 90 on some which is definitely an okay score the efficiency however is really not where we'd want it to be for this gpu honestly i guess it's decent on core power so coins like ravencoin neox and Clore, but other than that it never reaches above 76 and even goes as low as 40 on one algorithm and is commonly in the 50s on many others so how does it stack up against the rest of the GPUs? Let's get right into all of that after a quick word from our sponsor. The MeterBox and OctoMiner are teaming up for another exciting giveaway. Win the latest proof of useful work, OctoServer E10, and X8 Ultra Plus and more. Introducing the limited edition OctoMiner box set by MeterBox. It includes the 125 volt and 250 volt meter boxes, a special NFT, stickers, and a keychain. Hurry! Only 250 box sets available. Visit TheMeterBox.com now to secure yours today. Purchase the OctoMiner box set and unlock a secret code for 1,000 entries. Plus, earn an extra 1,000 entries and receive that collectible NFT. Don't miss out. The contest ends July 30th. I've got a summary of all the seven different GPUs in this test here. And these numbers are the average scores for mining efficiency and value for money for the graphics cards. This is of course excluding the algorithms I don't have data for yet on the 4060, as it wouldn't exactly be fair to give it a lower average score just because I wasn't able to get the numbers for those coins yet. Yeah, as we can see here, it's really not a great GPU for mining, especially in terms of efficiency where it's the absolute worst GPU in this comparison, even being beat by the 3070. And as for value for money, it's very much nothing special, being about on par with both the 4060 Ti and 4070, but both of those have way better power efficiency. In all honesty, I don't see why anybody should choose the 4060 for mining. If you want a cheap GPU, a used 3070 in good condition on eBay will cost about the same and give you both better power efficiency and more hash rate for your money. If you want something that is a good middle ground between both value for money and power efficiency, uh, I'd go with either the 4060 Ti or the 4070 since they're both good options, being about the same as each other. And finally, if you really want to prioritize power efficiency, the 4070 Ti or 4090 are both fantastic in that regard. Both of those GPUs, and I guess especially the 4090, might also be better options in case proof of use of work takes off since they are much more high-end GPUs with a lot more compute potential. So please subscribe for more mining videos, and if you want to support the channel so that I can keep making videos like this one, you can click the join button below to get access to some bonus content, or you could buy one of the shirts in my merch store, link to that will be down in the video description. And those things both really do make a difference, so thank you. There are also some videos over there to your right that you can watch next. So yeah, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.